Last year, the House of Commons Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Committee made a number of key recommendations of ways to improve mental health in rural England. The committee heard evidence from organisations offering support for rural mental health. It concluded rural areas have particular problems, especially for farmers and vets, often made worse by isolation and poor transport links. One member of that committee is Neil Hudson, the Conservative MP for Penrith and the Border. As the only MP to also be a vet, he has a unique insight. The, the pressures of extreme weather events, or if you're in the farming community, if you have acute animal disease outbreaks, these are the, some of the unique pressures that we wanted to shine a focus on and see what can be done to support people through those episodes. Things like TB testing in cattle is incredibly stressful for the veterinary surgeons and for the farmers. But what we have often found is when the blue lights leave, rural communities are left to fend for themselves. And that's one of the things we want to make sure that there's this long-term support. What were your top recommendations from this report? We want DEFRA to work closely with the Department for Health and Social Care, with the Department for Transport to improve connectivity links, digital connectivity, working with the levelling up department so that government is talking to each other, not within the silos of departments. The UK government decided not to implement all the committee's recommendations, but the Department of Health and Social Care says that rural areas of England will benefit from its suicide prevention strategy. Elsewhere, in Wales, farming families can get help from the Farmwell Initiative. The Scottish Government says its Communities Mental Health and Wellbeing Fund has a specific focus on rural areas, while in Northern Ireland, the Protect Life 2 strategy will support all communities. Away from these initiatives, though, Neil Hudson believes making mental health training more widespread could help ease the problem. We've got these fantastic charities. We've got, you know, things like RABI. We've got the Farmers Community Network. We've got Yellow Wellies. In the veterinary world, we've got VetLife. Those people are doing fantastic work. What we want to do is to get more people trained up in the workplace, people in, in auction marts to be mental health first aid trained. I myself, in my veterinary career, have been mental health first aid trained. What it does is it just gives you the, the capability, the toolbox, to know how to signpost people to the support mechanisms that are in place. And as well as the Rural Payments Agency, other government agencies are playing their part. The Rural Inspectorate in Wales, the Department of Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs in Northern Ireland, and the Environment Agency and Animal and Plant Health Agency in England all now give frontline staff mental health awareness training. There are little things that human beings can do in their interactions with other human beings to help each other. If we can say, look, it's OK to talk to us about this and we, we can actually guide you to some help, then I think little things will help avert crisis in the future. <laughs>